What's up guys, it's Werther. Today I wanted to talk about how I set up the two guillotine grip variations that I like to do. One of them is weak, but considerably faster and easier to lock. The other one is much stronger, but it takes a longer time to get the grips. So whichever one you go for is gonna depend on the situation. We're gonna start with the one that's weaker, but quite fast and easy to lock. So let's say I've got Mark in my front headlock. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this part of my hand here against the side of his neck, just like this. And then I'm gonna reach over and grab my fingers. I am not grabbing over my hand, I'm grabbing over my fingers, just like this. And I'm going to pinch my elbows and tilt this up into his neck, right? I'll go ahead and do a mock finish here. So I'm just gonna curl, right, just like that. Obviously, I'm going to pull guard to control his hips and be able to get a more severe crunch. So you can do it in two ways. You can snap him down or you can jump. So I'll jump first here and now I'm going to crunch and then just like that. Right. I landed right when I was saying crunch. So it sounded like, oh, but sometimes that will happen. You know, if uh, you jump for a guillotine, you got to be prepared to be slammed. But it's considerably safer for you, the person that's applying it, than say a triangle where you could easily get knocked out. Um, now, you could also... Do it off of a single leg, you know, yeah, just like this. If I come here, I would just jump and go into the same position. Double leg, same thing. Or if I snap him down, right, I do exactly what I did for my arm out guillotine. I step up on the side where his head is trapped, and then I'm going to swing my other leg around him and then pull here. And now I crunch and finish, just like that, okay? So those are the two ways that you can jump and you can do the same thing for the other grip. So that one is called the Whaleatine after Tony Way, the person who taught it to me. The second one is the reverse pretzel grip. This one was taught to me by Chase Hanna. Um, you know, not personally, I saw it on an Instagram video that he did several years ago. I've loved it and I've used it ever since. So make sure you guys follow him. He has some really great stuff. So we're here. This time I'm gonna take the arm that's over his head and I'm gonna have my palm facing away from me just like this. So not in like this, facing away. My other arm, the one that's over his arm, is gonna come over the top and I'm gonna gable grip here like this. With this palm facing away, I'm gable gripping. And now, I'll leave his head out so you can see. Now I'm going to sock my elbows in and down and bring this grip up like this, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm bringing that grip into the gap between his neck and shoulder. So we're gonna come back. So again, we're here, right? And now I bring this grip into the gap between his neck and shoulder. I do a mock finish here, right? It's considerably tighter than the last one, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not going to try to finish here, okay? I'm going to pull guard. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, right? So now I have control of his hips and I have the added crunch pressure here, okay? So that's why you want to make sure you pull guard, make sure you control the hips. If you don't, he has a lot more recourse to defend. So those are the two guillotine grip variations that I like to do. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys try them out. Make sure you test them out in live rolling. You can start small, work your way up to the inexperienced, from the inexperienced to the more experienced grapplers. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you click that thumbs up button. Make sure you share it. So other people can see this stuff if you think it's cool. If you subscribe to the channel, that also really helps us. And you'll, if you click the notification bell, you'll be notified when we release new content. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. And I'll see you guys next time.